Were you aware that notorious investor Kathy Wood is once again purchasing a large number of Tesla stock? Since Wood has often expressed her optimism for Tesla, her fans were not particularly surprised by this decision. It is likely that you would not want to miss this. Founder, CEO, and CIO of ARK Invest Kathy Wood maintained a strong bullish position in Tesla, despite the electric vehicle manufacturer lowering its forecast for this year's deliveries. As the price fell following the company's announcement of what analysts considered to be mediocre third quarter sales and its announcement that it will miss its broad annual growth projections for the year, Wood actually increased his Tesla holdings. This month, Wood's business has made two purchases of shares in Elon Musk's company, the ARK Innovation ETF. Her flagship fund purchased 66,190 of the EV producer. When Tesla released a press release in early October, Announcing its delivery and production numbers, the fund purchased a tranche in response to reports of missing deliveries. In essence, Wood added 66,190 shares of the EV company to the more than 132,000 she had already purchased this month. The biggest position in her flagship ARK Innovation ETF, which has lost more than 55% of its value this year, is Tesla. Wood's most recent purchase was made after Tesla's Q3 announcement caused the stock to decline. During the recent Q3 earnings call, the management acknowledged that it expects to fall short of the 50% growth goal for 2022 car deliveries compared to the previous year. This statement caught the attention of certain analysts. Nevertheless, Tesla anticipates meeting that target for car production. The company's Q3 shipment constraints will be the reason for the disparity. These logistical problems caused Tesla to create 22,000 more cars than it delivered. But those cars have consumers and aren't just going to sit in inventory. Long-term investors shouldn't care which quarterly period customers assume ownership of a company. Not only is manufacturing increasing quickly, but in the third quarter, net income more than doubled and total sales increased by 56% year over year. How Tesla's profit margins will fare when rivals begin to flood the market is another worry for certain investors. The gross margin on automobiles decreased by 258 basis points in the past year. That shouldn't come as a huge surprise as businesses in the automotive industry face increased prices due to supply chain bottlenecks and rising labor and material costs. In contrast to the previous quarter, Tesla's automotive gross margin remained constant at 27.9%. That suggests that the business is compensating for increased costs. Tesla has increased the price of its products, but investors should see this as a positive indication that the price increases are supporting rather than stifling demand. Few people have as much long-term optimism in Tesla as Kathy Wood does. By 2026, she believes the stock will be valued over $1,500. It's not even trading at 20% of that figure at the moment. However, that aggressive pricing goal does align with the name of another well-known figure, Elon Musk. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, actually stated quite boldly during the most recent earnings call that the company's value might surpass that of both Apple Inc. and Saudi Aramco put together. Apple's market capitalization is approximately 2.3 trillion US dollars, whereas Saudi Aramco's is approximately 2 trillion US dollars. This indicates that Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, values the company at approximately $5 trillion. In short, Kathy Wood is still more optimistic than ever about Tesla shares. Strongly advocating for innovation, Wood consistently expresses her support for Tesla and its next cutting edge initiatives. Wood gained notoriety through her investments in disruptive innovation stocks and her use of an iterative approach that blends top-down and bottom-up research methods. ARK Invest aims to fund businesses that could profit from cross-sector advancements in robotics, energy storage, artificial intelligence, DNA sequencing, and blockchain technology. Tesla is a good fit because of its groundbreaking electric vehicles and self-driving technologies, which have upended the automotive industry. Wood has long been an admirer of the business, describing it as a high performer in her letter for the third quarter. She also talked about how businesses that prioritize disruptive innovation could surprise everyone by experiencing rapid exponential growth. Conventional auto experts said Tesla was destined for disaster. According to Wood, they were unaware that Tesla was an artificial intelligence and robotics company, not an automaker. Critics of Tesla have drawn attention to the company's small product portfolio, which hasn't been updated in years. Nevertheless, Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, announced that he will be present when the electric lorry starts deliveries to PepsiCo on December 1st. Elon Musk, the CEO, claims that the much-awaited Cybertruck is also nearing completion and should start shipping next year. Additionally, Tesla is anticipated to launch a more affordable EV soon, expanding its lineup of passenger cars. 
Additionally, Musk informed investors that the company is making every effort to boost battery production capacity. There is a greater demand for its energy division's solar rooftop panels and battery storage than it can meet. Its energy storage deployments increased by 62% year over year in Q3, and sales from that business accounted for 5% of overall revenue. All of those should lead to several years of growth for Tesla from various sources. Although some investors might be worried about the status of the economy right now, Musk claimed that Tesla's business is recession resistant because of the global trend towards electric. Automobiles. Furthermore, Kathy Wood mentioned in a recent interview with Yahoo Finance that it's noteworthy that the United States summertime petrol demand fell to levels not seen since 1997. That's actual demand destruction. And we don't think it could have happened if electric vehicles hadn't been stealing significant market share from conventional manufacturers at the margin, adds Wood. Nevertheless, Wood thinks that rather than focusing on the rapidly growing EV market, worries ought to be directed at the established car sector. We believe that gas-powered cars will become outdated in the next five to 10 years. So the auto industry as a whole needs to find a means to switch to electric cars, said Wood. Many developments in the auto business, in Wood's opinion, put the traditional auto into industry and, by extension, traditional automakers in jeopardy. Wood cited Tesla's self-driving taxi platform as an illustration of this kind of creative transformation. While many people trust Wood's opinions, others are less confident in her. But even though Kathy Wood has almost 40 years of experience in the financial industry, her profile grew in 2020. That year, her ARK Innovation Fund returned nearly 150%, propelling her to a degree of celebrity she had never known before. The ARK Innovation Fund has returned almost 45% yearly over the last five years. These figures have made Wood a bit of a celebrity in the financial world, particularly in the fields of technology and innovation. Her asset management company, ARK Invest, is well known for its disruptive technology and innovation bets. ARK provides funds that are invested in clean energy, robotics, genomics, AI, and blockchain technology. Wood who is also renowned for occasionally making bold predictions about the future, is adamant that Tesla, a manufacturer of electric vehicles, is still a cheap business. According to Wood, Tesla will eventually be valued $3 trillion. Thus, Kathy Wood and ARK Invest concentrate on investing techniques with a theme. Rather than focusing on individual industries and businesses or following fads, a thematic approach to investing emphasizes broad, long-term patterns. Thematic investment seeks out innovators who have the potential to influence future developments in the world. Essentially, a theme strategy looks for things that, even in the absence of fully established underlying technology, have the potential to transform the world. This clarifies Wood's Tesla optimism. Therefore, there may be brief increases in the price of a firm or fund if a tech technology or disruption seems to be about to make a breakthrough or if there are developments in the press on a certain related company. Numerous companies researching and implementing various cutting-edge technologies and potential solutions, such as artificial. Intelligence, DNA sequencing, genomics, robotics, energy storage, blockchain technology, autonomous technology, and 3D printing are included in wood stock selections and what she includes in ARC's funds. A lot of these apply to Tesla, which is presumably why wood is so upbeat about the business and its prospects in general. Even if Kathy Wood manages a large amount of money, individual investors ought to. Consider the company's future state. Tesla appears to be in a good situation. With a trailing 12-month price-to-earnings ratio of about 60, its valuation is still quite high. Nevertheless, long-term investors who follow Kathy Wood's example and purchase at the current price levels would appear to be making a wise investment if Tesla keeps increasing production and net revenue at these rates. For more content about Tesla stocks, don't forget to subscribe to this channel.